Hi YouTube, it's Carrie, Lady VSG, uh, just doing this week's update. So starting weight, 301.8 pounds. Today's weight is 290.0 pounds for a uh, loss this week of 0.3 pounds. So not much of a loss. Um, I'm assuming that that's because this week I went to Verstfest down in Mount Angel with my, my sister and her family. Um, and I, you know, I didn't eat, so Verstfest is like a sausage festival, basically, like an actual sausage festival. So, you know, that's a thing that exists in Oregon. Um, so I didn't eat any of the bread that came with the sausages because, and they'll let you just get the sausages on a stick, but I definitely ate the sauerkraut and the grilled onions. So I'm guessing between whatever carbs might've been in the sausages, you know, and how they prepared the onions and um, sauerkraut and stuff. That's possibly why this week was less successful than previous weeks. Um, but that still puts me, you know, right on track. My surgery date is April 6th down in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Ariel Ortiz at the Obesity Control Center. Um, so my pre-op requirements are to lose 5 to 10% of my original 301 pounds. So that's like 15 to 30 pounds. So my total loss so far is still 11 pounds. So, you know, I've got seven weeks to lose a minimum of seven more pounds. Or wait, no, I can't add. Seven weeks to lose a minimum of four more pounds. So completely reasonable. Um, I don't really have much news for you this week, but I thought I'd do a couple products that I've tried and let you guys know what I thought about them. Um, so the first one I got at Vitamin Shop, and that's these New Way Protein Shots. So they're 3.8 ounces. They've got... Uh, 42 grams of whey protein. So if you have a milk allergy, you probably aren't going to tolerate these real well. Um, you know, I've seen, I've seen reviews. It's like, there's no point in drinking these things because your body can only take in 30 grams of protein, you know, in a certain time frame. That's okay. If, if my post-op requirements are to get hundred grams of protein a day in, like these might be a really good way to do that. Um, this is grape. Grape is my favorite artificial flavor. So of course I bought a case of these. They're, they're kind of expensive. I mean, you can get some of the flavors at Walmart and Albertsons, places like that. And they're like three bucks a tube. Um, I ordered them from vitaminshop.com because they were cheaper. So I got a box. They were cheaper on the website than they were in the vitamin shop store. So I got a box of 12 for I think $25. And if you order online, they have a minimum order of, I can't remember if it's 30 or 50 or something like that. So I got, I got two boxes, um, and then it was free shipping. So, I mean, I, I think they, t they taste, okay. They don't taste great, um, but they taste fine. It's sort of like, um, how you would expect sort of fake flavors to taste. I don't know. Kind of like melty jello, sort of like a little bit too sweet, um, you know, and I hear, I've been reading a lot and hearing a lot from other videos that after surgery, people's tastes change and they really can't tolerate the sweetness. I have a huge sweet tooth now, so I'm not, I don't know. There's a part of me that's like, I'll be fine drinking sweet stuff. Like, I mean, you know, I probably won't throw it up, but it's not, I don't think it'll gross me out. Um, I did see less of Sarah when she was doing her videos back when she first started and she ended up thinning them out with, um, I think some water and some crystal light. Um, so I might try that. The other thing that I am really enamored with right now is I got these at Costco and there's a, well, there's a bunch missing because I've been drinking them every day. Um, but they're these shots, they're zip fizzes and you can get some of these flavors at, I've seen them at Walmart in little packs. Um, I think you get three or four for like six bucks. I want to say this whole box cost $25. There's 30 tubes in them. So this is the, the variety pack. So you get grapefruit punch and orange flavors. So there are these little, little tubes, um, and they're, they're supposed to be a healthy energy drink. So they've got like B12 and things like that in there. They do, um, they're sort of effervescent. It's not, I mean, I've got a soda stream. It's not that kind of carbonation, but you know, like a little bit fizzy. So I think probably post-op when I'm not supposed to be having carbonation, I'll just mix them up and then let them go flat, which shouldn't take that long because there's not that much carbonation in them. But I really like these. I've never been somebody who just really just 
drinks plain water. And so these I thought might be a good alternative. Also, I am a huge coffee addict. I mean, I have three, four, five cups a day. So after surgery, when I'm not supposed to be, I, I mean, well, I mean, I'm cutting out coffee before then anyway, but after the surgery, when I'm not supposed to be having coffee, I was a little bit concerned about, um, you know, caffeine withdrawal, but also what am I going to drink if I'm not drinking coffee? And these I really like. Um, the, they, I mean, they taste, they taste the way they're supposed to. Fruit punch tastes like, tastes like fruit punch. Grape tastes like grape. I mean, it's weird, you know, like grape water, but that's okay. I like grape flavor. Um, and orange. They had originally when I bought these, um, one of my friends had gone to Costco months and months ago and they had an orange cream flavor that was a limited edition one. And that was great. Um, it's better than the regular orange flavor. They don't have it anymore. They do have another one right now and it's blue and it's, he, there's a football player on it. I barely follow football. I mean, you know, I like, I'll watch it if it's on, but like, I'm not really a sports person. So I, I mean, obviously he's famous. He's on this box, but I don't know who he is. Um, so there's another flavor. I haven't tried that one, but anyway, I like these. So, so those are my little product finds for now. Um, and they, and they zip this as they say to mix them in like a six, a regular 16 ounce bottle of water. I usually, what I've been doing is putting them, I have my hydro flask water bottle, which is, let's see. It's 24 ounces, so 700 milliliters. Um, I love this because it does a really, it's really well insulated. So if you put hot things in here, they'll stay, I mean, they're not gonna stay piping hot, but they'll stay warm for like six to eight hours when I put tea in here um, and then gone to work and forgotten. Uh, but I, if I put a little bit of ice and then I keep just bottles, like giant bottles of water in my fridge to make sure that it's cold because it takes too long to get it cold out of the tap. Um, and so if I put a little bit of ice and the cold water, this keeps the water like icy cold for, you know, the entirety of my shift, which is great, even though I should probably be drinking more than 24 out, 24 ounces of water during an entire shift. Um, but yeah, so I've been putting one zip fizz in that whole bottle and shaking it up. And that's, I mean, that's how I'm diluting it. So it's a little bit more diluted than what the, the bottles or the little tubes say. But whatever, I like them. I think they're great. So anyway, um, I will check in with you guys again next week. Hopefully I'll have more weight loss to report or at least something a little more exciting to review for you guys. So all right, I'll check you later. Bye.